Begin editing offline on a blank map. Select offline practice. Select editing from the menu. And there's a custom field at the bottom. You can name your map or leave it as untitled. We'll name this map Tutorial 1. Click the green start game button. You'll begin editing in spectator mode. Right clicking the mouse will spawn you in the air. This is because there are no player start entities. We'll create those later. You can move around the map with the keys A, S, D, and W. Pressing F1 will toggle between editing mode and walk mode. Press F1 to enter edit mode. You can move around with the same keys W, A, S, and D. Your cursor square will highlight the currently selected face. Left clicking will select a new face. Right clicking will add the face to that selection. Spacebar will deselect everything. By holding the G key and scrolling the mouse wheel, you can increase or decrease the size of the cube face selection area. To create or destroy cubes, first left click a cube face. Then scroll the mouse wheel up or down to push or pull new cubes from the selected face. You can also create new cubes from a group of selected faces. First left click a face to select it. Then right click an additional face to expand the selection. Scroll the mouse wheel up or down to push or pull new cubes from the selected group of faces. You can push or pull the corners of a cube to create a slanted surface. First position the editing cursor over a face. Then position the editing crosshair over the corner that you wish to push or pull. While holding down the Q key, scroll the mouse wheel up or down to push or pull the corner. You can also nudge a face of the cube. To do this, place the editing cursor over a face. While holding in the F key, scroll the mouse wheel up or down. To move a group of cubes, first left click a cube face, then right click to expand the selection. Once you have the area selected, 
Hold down the U key. The geometry inside will disappear, but the selection area will remain. While the U key is held, move the selection area to where you wish to place the cubes. Release the U key to paste the cubes. To copy cubes, highlight a selection. Press the C key to copy. Once you've copied the cubes, move the selection area by holding down the right mouse button and dragging it. Press the V key to paste the cubes. If you've already copied cubes, you may use the paste helper. The tab key will cycle through the helpers. Cycle through them until you see a pink box. This is the area of geometry that you've copied. If you wish to paste it again, you may use this paste helper. You may also change the grid size to create a scaled version of what you are pasting. You can also flip or mirror a group of cubes. First select the geometry. Then right click the face that you wish to use as an axis. Pressing the X key will mirror the selected geometry. You can also rotate a group of cubes. First, select the geometry. Then right click the face that you wish to use as an axis. While holding down the R key, scroll the mouse wheel. This will rotate the group of cubes. To apply textures to a surface, First, highlight the faces you wish to retexture. Then press F2 to bring up the textures menu. This will load all the textures that are contained within the maps configuration file. Click the large thumbnail to apply the texture. If you wish to apply the same texture to all sides of the cube at once, you may turn on all faces mode. You can do this by pressing the zero key. The zero key toggles all faces mode on and off. If you wish to quickly retexture a surface, you can hold the Y key and scroll the mouse wheel. This will apply any textures that you've recently used. You can quickly replace the texture across the entire map. To do this, all faces mode must be off. Select the face that you wish to retexture. Apply a texture to this face. You can open up the editing menu by pressing F3. Under the Ops tab of the editing menu, there's a command, repeat last texture change across the entire map. This will issue a replace command and replace the last texture change across every matching texture. If you wish to grab a texture from a surface, you can highlight it and press the J key. This will move the texture you have highlighted to the top of the Y menu. You may also use the advanced features under the VTEX menu. This will create a new version of the texture within the map's configuration file. 
you wish to create a larger or smaller version of the texture, you can use scale. These are shortcuts to console commands. Pressing enter will issue the console command. This will create a new version of the texture in the textures menu. Even though we've named our map file tutorial one, the map title and map author are still unset. To set the map title and map author, press F3 to bring up the editing menu. Under the file tab, even though we have set our map file name to tutorial one, the map title and map author are still untitled. We will title this map tutorial one. Set the map author to me. Click Save Map as File Name to save this map into your local content folder. You may also resave any changes you've done to your map or save the map file through the console. To open the console, press the tilde key or forward slash. Type Save Map to save any changes. Press Enter. You can also save the map as a new file name, save map, file name. In this case, we will save the map as tutorial 2. On Windows, this folder is in My Documents, My Games, Red Eclipse, Maps. Here we can find both versions of the map that we've saved. The map file, the screenshot that was taken when we saved the map, in the configuration file, which includes all textures and settings for our map. This map will now appear in our map list. Not only can you save a map through the console, you can also open one. To do this, open the console with the tilde key or forward slash. Then type the mode in which to open the map, in this case, in edit mode. We'll type edit and then the map name. Edit tutorial 01. Press enter. This will open the map file named tutorial 01 in edit mode. <laughs> 